think of me is to go through with it. You said you would stop me. I don't give a damn about the Russians. No, of course you don't. Let him murder 10 million Muscovites so long as our stock price goes up. You didn't seem so troubled when it was Washington. Frankly, I'm surprised, Mihai, that you haven't found a way to profit from this. But you have. Of course you have. We have products to move, Mara. Anything can be profited from. I must... You drugged me. We have to stop him. I'm going to tell them where his base is. Tell them what is happening. But stop him. Mihai, no. Can't... No, Mara, my dear. I'm afraid you won't be speaking to anyone. Who said anything about going to Zurich? Damn it, Logan. I'm not going over this again. You are forbidden from touching Nicolescu in any way. I don't want to hear about you being anywhere near Zurich. I heard you. you. Got that? Logan out. Now what do we do? I don't care what Bertram says. I'm going to Zurich. Gabe, you can't. You're gonna jeopardize the entire agency. He's the only lead we've got. Listen to me, this isn't critical. Dr. E is close to a vaccine for the virus. It won't be a threat much longer. We're close to finding Mara. We have the North Korean connection to follow up, and Ivankov- I don't give a damn about Ivankov. I want Nicolescu. Gabe, stop! You're going to risk everything we worked for! No. They risked everything. They did. I'm going to make sure their deaths mean something. You don't think I want that too? But you're doing exactly what Birchip wants. This isn't about Nicolescu anymore, Gabe. It's about saving lives. You're doing this to find Ivankov's base, right, Gabe? You're not doing it just to get to Nicolescu. If I get Nicolescu, I get Ivankov. I've never seen Gabe obsessed like this. What's going on? I don't know. I hope he knows what he's doing. Des tableaux de peinture. Mais viens manger avec nous. L'expédition peut attendre. Il faut quand même que j'imprime le bon gros d'expédition. Ah, oh, vous devez être nouveau ici. On n'est jamais censé laisser de documents. Teresa, we're in. Copy that. Standing by. All right, so we're doing mission 16, uh, Nicolescu Funds Tower, otherwise known as Zurich. Um, it's a pretty easy stealth mission. There's one tricky part near the end, but you know, I'll explain that part when we get there. Everyone in this mission is a collateral target, so do not kill anyone. It's best to bring just. <coughs> excuse me. It's best to bring just. Um, non-lethal weapons. So, I unlocked quite a few weapons last mission. I completed the mission objectives last mission. That's cool. Uh, bring the PPK because it's silenced, but other than that, bring nothing but non-lethals. So, gas, stun jack, air pistol, riot shotgun. You should have all these weapons if you've been following, or if you've been playing along this whole time. Here we go. Take his body for fun, put it behind the door, why not? Come on, bitch, where the hell is he? So there's another guy coming around the corner right now. There he is. Just hang out here and wait till he's there and sweet. Totally blind. I guess these guys have an excuse though, they're wearing helmets and shit, so. Nice, got him. Alrighty. 
Next part here, you gotta plant a transceiver. I think there's oh, there's four or five transceivers, something like that. I don't remember. I haven't played this mission in a long time. Alrighty, so this guy over here, you're gonna take out with the air pistol shot. You could do all this with just the stun jack if you don't have any of these non-lethal weapons. I, but I very much suggest you at least try to go get the dormers and gas, if not the air pistol as well. That's, I mean, all it is is 200 non-lethals. That's easy. Go to Carthage 2, which is, um, warehouse district. Just go there and start, uh, racking up the non-lethals. Alright, he spotted me, but who cares. Yeah, that room that you get the first viral container in, um, in warehouse district slash Carthage 2, um, is a perfect room. All the guys in the, uh, little sewage pipes, there's three sewage pipes in that room. There's about, you can get 21 headshots, 21 grenade kills, 21 stealth kills, or, uh, stealth kills, non-lethal kills, whatever, you know. And then just run out of that room and then run back in and they'll all respawn and you just keep doing that over and over again. A very easy way to get anything, to get any of your ratings up, except for the knife kills. Knife kills are, it's a different method for those. But, uh, anyway, so, next part here, this is the only time we're going to use this gun in the whole mission, hidden objective. When I first played this mission, I was just screwing around, and that little gate, or grate, looked a little suspicious, so I just shot at it for no reason, and uh, it turns out that it actually leads you to somewhere that you need to go for part-time, so I got lucky. But, um... Some people could just bypass it and not know what the hell it is and not think to shoot it. And it's totally understandable. Freaking hidden objectives piss everybody off. Alrighty. Get out of there. Okay. Elevator power switch is on. So this whole mission is pretty, pretty simple for the most part. Um, you get to the very end and there's a part where you have to do you know, acrobatic feats and all this stuff. So that's, uh, I'll, you'll, you'll see when I get there. You already probably know what I'm talking about if you've played this. It's a bit of a bitch to stay alive, but it doesn't really affect your part times at all. Okay, so take this guy out. This guy here is next. Good stuff. We're gonna run all over the place, do all these transceiver data console things. Okay, this is an important vent. Uh, if you go left, there's weapons over there. You can get a riot pistol, um, dorm vision gas. I think you can get an air pistol over there. I, I don't remember. I'm not gonna... Well, maybe I will go check, because it's not like it's wasting a whole lot of time, but I'll just show you what's over there. Just for shits and giggles. Um, yeah. So there's a couple... Couple things in this box here. Yeah, so you get the riot pistol and all that. I think that's. Oh, I thought you you got dormant gas too, but no, you don't. So that's the non-lethal pistol. It's the only non-lethal pistol in the whole game. And so now, officially, all of our weapons are non-lethal. That's kind of cool. You can still kill people with the. Um, with the guns if you shoot them in the head, but you know, just don't shoot anybody in the head and you'll be alright. The core room temperature is controlled to within five degrees. Your body heat will raise the temperature enough to set off the alarm in just a few minutes. 
All right, so hit this terminal here. Mainframe computer. And we're gonna climb up. And you need to hit one more. This one right here. Partial door unlock switch. The top and bottom need to be unlocked and the middle doors need to be... Oh, middle doors are open. Upper and lower doors are sealed, so we need to hit this one now. Middle doors sealed, upper and lower doors open. That's what we need to see. Okay. Look at that. Got out in less than a minute, and they give you three whole minutes to do that. In other words, you get lots of time. Um, air pistol this next part for sure. You need to be stealthy here. And somewhat quick. First things first, take this guy out on the right. Alright, we gotta be quick there. That's uh, riot shotgun ammo. We don't need that though. So, perfect. He's, his body is still behind the wall, which is what we need. And we're going to put his body over here, otherwise his buddy over there. That's on our radar. Right ahead of us. We'll spot him. So now we're just going to hang out, wait till his buddy turns it around, and do the same thing to him. Come on now. Got to plant one more transceiver as well. But that's in the next floor. So now nobody will see that guy that's lying unconscious on the ground over there. So don't worry about it. Okay. This part's a bit tricky. You could easily die if you run into these lasers. You will die immediately if you run into the lasers, so just be careful. And there's still one more security guard we need to take out as well, so... Chill, man. Chill. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta be careful there. Uh, this part we can't access just yet. I don't have access to the security system for the lowest floor. But that's okay. Because now we can. Yeah, that chief of security that we took out near the beginning of the mission, um, where we leaned down over his body and grabbed something, that was a handprint, and we would have needed to backtrack if he didn't know that. There we go. Okay, next vault. Last one for this floor, and then we have uh, a couple more to do downstairs, and we're good to go. Mission's almost over here now. These lasers are easily the hardest part of this mission. You can kill yourself so easily. If your toe just nicks this freaking thing, done. That's it. Okay. So now we're gonna head to the final bottom floor. There's uh, one last guy we need to take out, and then the mission's over. Well, after this part is done. 
But this is the floor we end the mission on, so that's cool. Just stay here, wait for this guy to come. Take him out with the pistol when you get it shot. I'll be careful here. There we go. At the final transceiver. Alright, so we can go this way, but this way looks safer, right? So let's go this way instead. Uh, we have to go the other way as well, but it's just easier to go this way first. It's not as much of a gong show with the lasers. Jeez Louise. Alright, so some people would turn around and head back to the area we just were, but there's actually another hidden objective right over here. So... Okay. Now, here's a trick where you just kill yourself, but you don't actually kill yourself because Dormagen's non-lethal. So, just Dormagen yourself and you end up right back at the checkpoint, the computer here. So that bypasses the whole laser system. So here's another bitch of a part. Son of a bitch! That was my controller acting up. Alright, so you just kill yourself, you end up right back there. Okay, well I can't believe I died over there, man. It's so annoying. I'm just being stupid. What's wrong with me? Okay. Let's do this. I can't believe I died now twice. That's the most I've died in this entire game so far. What's wrong with me, guys? Like, look at that. We're done now. I can't believe I screwed up like that. Ah, <sighs> that bugs me. Oh well. Mission's over. Hopefully you didn't kill yourself with the lasers twice like I did, because you're stupid. Alright, good luck, if you're playing this too. You finished the mission in record time. Awesome work. Cobra's earned a new commission. Cobra's earned a commendation. Teresa, it's finished. We're in the last vault and there's nothing here but some shipping crates filled with paintings. Either Nicolescu's way smarter than I gave him credit for, or he really doesn't have anything to do with Metaglobal. Leon was right. I failed. I don't know if it means something, but I think those paintings you found are Nicolescu's. I've got a shipping request filed for several containers, insured for millions. Inventory says antique paintings. There might be an address on the shipping containers. Montenegro. Is Nicolescu the kind of man who keeps all of his valuables in one place? All neat and ordered like a museum collection? Let's get out of here. You're heading back to Berlin. This is something I have to do myself. He said he was going to Montenegro alone. I haven't been able to contact him. Damn it, Gabe. What did he find in Zurich? Nothing. There were no Metaglobal files. ...to help our Russian allies with this current terrorist threat. A threat of global biological war. And any use of weapons of mass destruction will, of course, affect us all. 